Today, I want to talk about uh, the Holy Spirit being all up in my business. Um, I, I thank God for for the intervention of the Holy Spirit. There have been times when, you know, my choices or my thoughts wasn't quite right. Um, and I spent time rationalizing and justifying. You know how we do sometimes. Well, it's not that bad. And I'm just human. And God understands. And you know what I mean? And this is sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You know, all the things that we say that justify us not following the leading of the Holy Spirit. But I truly, truly thank God for the Holy Spirit intervening in my affairs. Had it not been for the Holy Spirit intervening in my affairs, I don't know where I would be. I thank God that the scripture uh, that says that we say all the time, Lord, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's inviting the Holy Spirit into your affairs. So you may be trying to handle things on your own, trying to do it your own way. You know, maybe somebody else did it and it worked for them and you figure you could try it too. Sometimes there's such a high call on your life and God has his finger on your head and he wants your attention. The thing is, when you just say yes and you let the Holy Spirit in your affairs, it always works out because he's going to lead and he's going to guide and he's going to comfort. That's what the Holy, that's what the Bible calls him, a comforter. But Jesus promised that a comforter would come. And so I thank God for the intervention of the Holy Spirit, even though at, at certain times it didn't feel good. And I was like, ah, just let me live my life. You know, but when you live in your life and when you, you know, doing your doings that you do, you know, that you don't that you know don't line up with the word of God. Where does the Holy Spirit go? Where does he go? You know, does he have to turn his head? Does he go, oh God, don't don't make that choice. That's not right. That's not the right choice. That's not the right place. Don't make that phone call. Don't invite him over. Not today. Your spirit ain't strong. Your flesh ain't strong. Don't take that business meeting today because you're gonna do all kinds of wrong. Because your spirit ain't strong today. Let the Holy Spirit intervene so your spirit can be strong, so you can handle what you have to face. Because you're gonna have to face something. But what are you going to do in the face of that issue? Are you gonna crumble? Is your flesh gonna lead you? Or is your faith gonna lead you? Who's in control? I want the Holy Spirit to lead me and guide me and guard me and keep me so I make the right decision. So my life is pleasing to God. All right. So, you know, it, it, it may be rough for some of you like, oh, I want the Holy Spirit. I'm finna call this dude right now. Like, Holy Spirit, just chill for a minute. No, nope, Keep whispering in my ear. Don't say that. That ain't all right. Don't invite him over. Nope. Don't tease like that. Don't put that out there like that. It ain't cool. Don't do it. Don't do it. Live holy and acceptable unto God.